Despite being a winter city, Edmonton is fine-tuning its snow-clearing services for this upcoming winter, making minor adjustments from last season in an effort to make Edmonton a more safe and livable city during the winter months. Services will look similar to last year. Main roadways will remain a top priority and be cleared within five days of a snowfall. Residential streets and alleys will be cleared within 10 days. The city, however, will be ramping up their snow removal in their new winter priority loop, which includes priority bike lanes, city facilities and LRT stations. Those will be cleared within 24 hours. Other bike lanes, city sidewalks, wheelchair ramps and stairs outside of this new priority loop will be cleared within three days. Manually cleared areas such as bus stops will be taken care of within two weeks of a snowfall. And I know people get upset when they hear that the paths are going to be done in a day and the roads are going to be done in five. We would like the roads to be done in one day too. But honestly, we have so few bike lanes and the totality of the amount of pavement that has to be swept off that of course they're done in a day. It doesn't take that long to do them. The city knows Edmontonians are passionate about their snow clearing efforts and acknowledge the last two years have had difficult snow conditions to work with. From large windrows lining streets to unseasonably warm temperatures, making it hard for vehicles to navigate through the soft snow, city crews plan to regularly maintain residential roads. So this year we're going to be responding uh, to residential areas uh, in real time, looking at various equipment to use uh, to try to avoid any sort of mobility uh, issues in those residential areas, doing more grooming in between those parking bands uh, to try to keep that level surface and, and five centimeter snowpack in the residential areas. The city says snow and ice clearing is a shared responsibility. Those who do not move their vehicle during a parking ban could receive a $250 ticket and failure to clear a sidewalk can cost you $100. Edmontonians can now take a look at a new live interactive map where you can check out where crews and their equipment such as the big Laplowski are actively clearing snow throughout the city. They say it will create more transparency for Edmontonians. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.